All right, well, I've been studying Thomas Kim's work with electrostatics, and he's been using a polarity tester that he made using MOSFET transistors, and I couldn't find the necessary parts, so I have not been able to build one. It's an electronic uh, tester, but I I built one here that does the same thing just using one MOSFET and a one LED, and I found uh, found this circuit online and uh, it's actually very old it was actually first uh, done in the 1961 with vacuum tubes and uh, you can freeze frame this and then uh, and build one if you want to but the article was why by William Beatty back in 1987 and he showed how to build one of these little electrostatic uh, testers a very sensitive a tester but I couldn't find the exact part, uh, so I had to use a Radio Shack equivalent uh, part um, that did work. I just had to change the circuit a little bit and kind of use what Thomas Kim has used with the 9-volt uh, battery and a 680-ohm resistor to drop the current down uh, to the LED. And uh, this this is what I've got here. And this uh, little uh, insulated wire on the gate of the MOSFET is um, how you sense the uh, charge in the polarity and you have to get that MOSFET turned on part way and then when the LED comes on bright it shows a positive charge when it goes dim or out it shows a negative charge and this is a uh, this is the little tester running here and and like I say it's it's very very simple um, it's um, a way to see a charge. Now this is a regular comb. This is the, the old method of showing a static electricity. You just run this through your hair and it picks up a negative charge. And watch the LED go out. Comes back on, goes out. I'll do that one more time. It's hard to see in the daylight here. And then the opposite is true with glass. If you take glass um, and rub it against uh, silk or even cotton, it'll pick up a positive charge and make the LED go on bright. Let me see if I can get this to, to go here with the glass. You probably won't be able to see this. Yeah, the camera's not going to pick this up. I should have done this at night, but... Uh, Glass will make the, the uh, positive charge and make the LED go on brighter. Now here's another thing I've set up here to show this. This is my little electrostatic motor with a capacitor that's been charged up using the bug zapper uh, idea with uh, thousands of volts in that capacitor. Now that capacitor is a little dangerous so you have to handle it carefully. But there's a positive on one side and a negative on the other side the negative lead will make the LED go out the positive makes it go on brighter if I put it on the motor and run the motor up the effect is even more pronounced get the motor spinning here Watch the LED now. This is the negative. And this is the positive. So anyway, this uh, little tester is going to allow me to do a number of things now that I have something to... Uh, test the polarity on my electrostatic devices and I'll show you the circuit diagram one more time you can freeze frame this and uh, replicate it to get the LED to come on part way I use my fingers between this long leg of the LED and the insulated wire tip and if it comes on too bright you go ahead and discharge the gate to the ground here 
and that turns the MOSFET off completely. If you touch that gate to the positive, the MOSFET will turn on and stay on because of the capacitance within the MOSFET. Then you have to let it drain down. So what I've been doing is I've been holding on to that and then holding on to that and tapping it to get this to come on part way so I have some sort of a range so that I can see the uh, the LED come on and go off. If you get it on too bright what happens is you're not going to be able to see the uh, positive effect like it's going on right here. You're not being able to see it. You can see it on the negative but you can't see it on the positive. So anyway that's my little um, static electric um, or really um, high voltage um, detector and like I say it works on a high voltage capacitor just like it does on static electricity from a comb. I'll show this to you one more time how the the comb idea turns it off. And that's the negative. Hope this helps. Have some fun. Bye.